Should we look at another one? Should we look at uh, um, uh, Double Butt Crack Forehead McGee and his confusion look all the time? And this is, I think, his opening monologue. This is another 5 minute, 31 second clip. Again, this is a man who has 46,000 hours of January 6 footage. It's going to turn the narrative on its head. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. and happy Monday. We're about to show you surveillance footage from inside the United States Capitol. The images you'll see were recorded 26 months ago today on January. The images you'll see were recorded 26 months ago today on January 6, 2021. Is it? I guess. Why is that meaningful? I mean, if it was 24 months ago, it'd be, it'd be you know, two years to the day. What the fuck does 20? Because cause Monday was March 6th. Okay. All right. Until now, politicians have kept this tape politicians. hidden from the public. No, they haven't. There's 46,000 hours of it. Uh, they don't post the entire security outlay of the entire Capitol. As a general rule, it's not necessary. There is no legitimate justification for that. And there. Yes, there is. Um, uh, the, the random availability to, uh, I guess, any foreign power, much less any run-of-the-mill Michigan militia um, knowing exactly where all the key cards go and who has them and, and how people move around the Capitol and what doors lead to where. It's just probably not a good idea. They should at least have to do some homework, Never I think. Never has been. <laughs> Speaking of has been, hi. On January 6, two years ago, thousands of protesters walked... Two years and two months. I mean, stick to it, man. ...from a Trump rally on the ellipse outside the White House to the U.S. Capitol, where the certification of the presidential election was underway. Oh, that's what happened. I was, I was, and they just walked, by the way, just so you know. The protesters were angry. They, Aww. they believed that the election they had just voted in had been unfairly conducted. Hi, um, they had voted in that election months before. And they were right. No, they weren't. In retrospect, it is clear the 2020 election was a grave betrayal of American democracy. Gibberish. Given the facts that have since emerged about that election. Such as? No honest person can deny it. Um, I'm denying it, and I'm an honest person. Um, I think if you make an extraordinary assertion, I'm going to need at least ordinary evidence. You twerp. Yet the beneficiaries of that election continue to lie about what... Oh, you mean the winners? ...is now obvious. You mean the winners? The real crime, they will tell you again and again, is not what happened on Election Day 2020. The real crime is what... Yes, there was no crime on Election Day 2020. There was not. What the ever-loving Dominion lawsuit fuck is this? ...happened two months later on January 6th when Donald Trump led an insurrection against the duly elected American government. To prove that claim and to divert attention from the details of the presidential election itself. Huh? All right, so, so I'm to believe, by the way, we're a minute into this. Have you seen any new footage? Nah, he's just yammering. Um, I would have it, if I had 46,000 hours, I wouldn't even have the fucking capital behind me. I just have footage running all the time and go, hey, if you spot anything fucked up, we're just running the footage during my shows for the next five years in case anything stands out. There's no way we can ever get enough staff to go through all of it. So we're going to play one camera angle a night. Um, meanwhile, um, run that run that by me again. Prove that claim and to divert attention from the details. Oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Um, so the idea is is that the Democrats needed January 6th to get to, 
to distract from an election that they, amongst, uh, by the way, along with a bunch of Republicans, had won. And the only thing that would do it, like, instead of being dogged by ideas of illegitimacy, like, say, George Bush was, or Trump when he lost the popular vote by three million the first time and then double that the second time, um, that the Democrats needed, or they're like, let's see, how do we... How do we make people forget that the election that wasn't stolen wasn't stolen? I know. We'll, we'll drive maggots crazy and make them charge the capital so that we can ultimately not do much at all to them. We can arrest a few of them, less than 10%. That'll show them. And it's worth risking uh, an active attack on our capital with a bunch of people who are lunatics and QAnons with backpacks full of God knows what. The presidential election itself, Democrats in Congress impaneled what they called the House Select Committee on the January 6th attack. The point of that committee was to prevent Donald Trump from running for president again. No, I think part of it was to go over what happened on that day and make it abundantly clear who the participants were. In December of last year, committee members voted. They don't, they don't, by the way, they don't need to, they're, they're not going to have any trouble keeping Trump out of the White House next time. Republicans are well on their way to destroy. Unanimously him. to refer Trump to the Department of Justice for criminal prosecution. Right, because specifically the, the fact that he knew that if he put his January 6th plans in the teleprompter and got an actual... Uh, permit to go to the Capitol on, for his march would have increased security and therefore their insurrection attempt would have failed even more miserably. So he left it out so that the Capitol police would be caught with their pants down effectively um, is reason enough to understand that he is a treasonous fuck. Mission accomplished. But what the committee... Thanks. Thanks very much. What he did not do was explain what happened inside the Capitol on January... Uh, you know why? Well, beyond... I mean... They didn't have to explain what happened inside the Capitol because I'll, I'll tell you what, the part that was worrisome until everybody was obviously taken to safety, including the vice president who they intended to hang, um, really the worrisome part happened up until the breach and a little while after that. After it wasn't going to ultimately affect anything and it would just be a violent bunch of blathery bullshit like the rest of Trump's life. That, it, that wasn't even the necessary part. It's how it started and how you keep it from happening again. I give a fuck if they walked around in circles or if they shit their pants or if they all tried, they took pictures of themselves in the dome and went, wow, it makes my head look really big. January 6th. Three weeks ago, thanks to the new Republican Speaker's Office, we gained access to thousands of hours of surveillance video that helped... 46,000 hours. ...answer that question. Mm, yeah, well, it would... Except that's not your goal, is it, Tuckums? The January 6th committee had access to this very same tape and watched much of it. Much of it. But as we're about to show you, committee members lied about what they saw. <gasps> Out what? <gasps> that, I mean, I can tell from your face that you have a lot of faith in what you're saying right now. Sometimes freeze frames tell a story. Sometimes freeze frames let us know what's going on inside the man. And then hid the... And I use the word man in the loosest possible terms. The evidence from the public, as well as from January 6th criminal defendants and their lawyers. Such as... That is unforgivable. I don't... Yes, I, it's terrible. It's just emotionally, I can't deal with it. <laughs> Whatever you think of Speaker Kevin McCarthy, he rectified that crime, and we are grateful that he did. He did what? And by the way, uh, no, he did not. Because he gave it to just you. He did not give it to the press or the public or fucking, I don't know, WikiLeaks or something. Before we show you the tape, a few words on the process. Uh, hold on. Does anybody? Uh, he's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to make me crazy. 
He's trying to drive me crazy. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Um, before I show you the tape, ladies and gentlemen, the tape. 46,000 hours of digital footage. Let me show you the tape. Eh? You fucking piece of shit, eh? Hey, the tape. I took all that stuff and I made a tape. Our producers had unfettered access to the Capitol. Ooh, they didn't fetter you at all. Surveillance video. Neither uh -huh. the speaker's office nor our bosses at Fox News interfered in any way with our investigation. So there was, uh, and by the way, this is also, he has to say this, so Fox isn't on the hook editorially. It's not going to work. Of the 40,000 or so hours of tape, most of it turned out to be irrelevant. Oh, yeah. I mean, you watched it all, right? Sure. It's been 46,000 hours since you got, how big is your fucking staff, man? Did ever, all right. Hang on. Static shots. Sorry, I just had to ask a question. I didn't want to trigger anybody's Siri. Um, <laughs> if he has a 13-person staff, which I think is the base staff that they have there, I think it's 13 people besides, I mean, obviously they don't have the execs watching shit. He's not doing any homework. Are you fucking kidding me? You think he took some tapes home to peruse it like a fucking reporter? 13 people. Um, that means since Kevin McCarthy gave them access to this footage last week, they have all watched slash skimmed through somewhere in the order of 3,567 hours of tape. Of empty rooms, in some cases far from the Capitol itself. To find relevant videotape, our producers were given use of Capitol computers with advanced, oh, okay. advanced mapping software. That made it Well, that's sweet. Oh, you had advanced mapping software associated with it. So in the footage we're going to see, we're not only going to see the footage, but the mapping software that tracks where people are, like using facial recognition software. And that, no, well, it'll have the, obviously the timestamp and the name of the people because they've identified them later. And so they got all this facial recognition stuff and they can, and then it shows, all, no, it's just, it's just blank footage with no markings. Interesting. Interesting. Easy to find what we were looking for. Yes, um, uh, which is apparently fingernail length snippets of video that you can narrate to create bullshit. What we didn't have was access to facial recognition software, and that was... <laughs> That's why we couldn't tell you who the guy who kicked the door through, who's wearing a fucking military hat with the two maggots, because well, I don't know. I we, we knew who the guy with the makeup was. Significant. For more than two years, we have wondered why some in the crowd that day who seemed to be inciting violence were never indicted for it. We assumed these were federal agents of some sort. Uh -huh. You did? You did. And by the way, inciting violence, really hard to prove, especially when, in the case of someone like Ray Epps, what apparently they said, according to the person that they spoke to, is lay off the cops, they're just doing their job. To wit, that person reacted by attacking police officers. He's calling that inciting police officers. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. And the people, why aren't the people who are inciting this stuff not getting the, the same amount of time behind bars as the people who actually fucking did it? It's a, I can't, uh, how do you even, it's a weird, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. We still assume that. <laughs> yes. Because you're trying to make an ass out of you and me. God damn it. And in fact, there were many examples of behavior we saw in those tapes that- Ooh, behavior. You saw some behavior in those tapes. Didn't seem to make sense. What? That it, what? You saw the, t and it didn't seem to make sense? It, I mean, if you, if you, I mean, if you take it at face value, it looks like a bunch of deluded nutcases doing a bunch of shit that no sane person would ever do. In the name of a of a blathering orange dipshit who lives in a in a tower in Florida eating fucking 
well done steaks with ketchup on them. And who, what the fuck? Who would do that with their life? Men in civilian clothes holding doors open for protesters. Men in civilian clothes. You mean civilians? Escorting others through the Capitol, etc. Escorting them. You mean walking beside them or leading them because they were also maggots? What the fuck was the outfit for the day? Listen to that shit. Let's, let's, can we just jump into how dumb this is? There were many examples of behavior we saw in those tapes that didn't seem to make sense. That's a horror. Mason also understands it's what the people are doing. Men in civilian clothes holding Men. doors open for protesters. Maybe they're just fucking polite, okay? That's why they're civilians, because they're fucking civil. Okay, Tucker? <laughs> this is... <laughs> what? Escorting others through the Capitol, etc. Escorting others through the Capitol. You mean taking a leadership role in an insane situation because they fucking think they have the right to do it? Who are these people? If we only had the facial recognition software, uh, we didn't have access to it. Because if we did, we'd find out that they're all dyed in the wool fucking maggots and you'd end up getting a bunch more of them in jail. We would love to know who these people were. Wouldn't you? Well, here's a good idea. They all watch your show, fuckhead. Have them call in. Do a special all-day Saturday show. Hey, we've got all this footage. We're gonna, we wanna talk to you, maggots. Here's our special number. But as of tonight, we don't know. And because we don't know, we're not... We have to make it up. We're not going to put their faces on the screen and... So <laughs> we're not going to put their faces on the screen because if we do, people will go, Oh my God, Jim. You motherfucker. He's right here. He's... No. You can't throw him in jail. He's been to 96 Trump rallies, okay? Why won't they let him come to Mar-a-Lago? He climbed the wall once. Just they were federal agents. That would be irresponsible. Yes, we're just going to do it without showing them so you can assume there were a lot of them. And if we show you them, it's going to be abundantly clear they aren't. And it's going to lead to arrests and suicides. And, and boy, oh boy, the, if we think the Dominion lawsuit's rough. So there were many mysteries we could not solve. <laughs> yes. Like, uh, why Tucker Carlson, a grown man, still wipes back to front? Among them, unfortunately, is the shooting of Ashley Babbitt. That's not a mystery. From the evidence we have, the publicly available evidence, it... The publicly available evidence. Are we going to get a new angle of the death of Ashley Babbitt tonight? Or... Or it seems clear that Babbitt was murdered by a Capitol Hill police officer. No, it does not. Officer called Michael Byrd. No, it does not. Ashley Babbitt was unarmed. She uh, no, she was not. No. First of all, she was with the mob, and she punched another dude as she was crawling through a window. Also, she was carrying a backpack. What was in the fucking back backpack? She was with a bunch of other people. If she had a bomb or a gun in that backpack, and she breached through that thing, and she just ran down the hall without him shooting her, and he chased after her, the other people would get through the fucking door. So he shot her, and no one else came through. She was climbing through a barricaded door. Fuck that. She was shorter in stature than average. She posed no conceivable threat to anyone. Bullshit. In a mob situation, anyone who is first through the breach and screaming for blood and part of the, a group that bashes windows on a barricaded door as people are being evacuated behind you, who in, punches one of the other maggots... Before going, by the way, if you haven't seen the footage, uh, it's gruesome and, uh, you know, trigger warning if that shit upsets you. But she literally, she wanted to be first through the glass. So she hit the other dude who was next to her and went through. Also, um, what's with the short digs, motherfucker? Is it, how tall is Tucker? Anybody? Because I'm 5'9". But beyond that, we can only speculate about what... No, you can't. No, no, no. Don't sell yourself short. You can't just speculate. You can, you can imply like a motherfucker. You can imply all the live long day. You can 
just ask questions, leading questions that if they were in a court of law would be objected to and sustained because they would be statements in the form of a question. But um, yeah, you can do way more than that. It happened. There were no security cameras near the speaker's lobby where Ashley Babbitt was killed. Weird. Coincidence? I think not. Are you sure, though? And one more thing. Okay. Excuse me. One more thing? There hasn't been a thing yet, you dumb motherfucker. Virtually no one in Washington, Republican or Democrat, He's certainly one? not in the... All right, I see. <clears throat> well, as someone who's 5'9", um, who's never had to tan his balls to reassure him about his manhood, although I'm I'm not against it, I, uh, I think red light therapy might not be a bad idea. I mean, I, if they got any bigger, I probably would walk bow-legged, but that's a, that's a different story. Um... <laughs> And, and technically speaking, the man wore ties picked by his mother until he was approaching 50. News media wanted to see this tape released tonight. That's why it's remained hidden for more than two years. Sorry, none of them? Media wanted to see this tape released. Washington, Republican or Democrat, certainly not in the news media. N okay. The New York Times and other groups have filed lawsuits to get access to the same footage. Just for the record. Wanted to see this tape released tonight. That's why it's remained hidden for more than two years. Ooh, hidden tape. Here it comes. Now, we are four minutes in to a clip that is five minutes and 31 seconds long. And the only image we have seen so far is Jan 6th. Tucker investigates. God. In recent weeks, the usual hyenas in Congress and on cable news have been howling about we are putting lives at risk by showing this tape to the public. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's been the complaint. I think most people are just pointing out that you're an untrustworthy fuck. And... The fact that you individually, singularly, have access to it for your show is hinky and looks like state-run television. Given that these are the very same people who support open borders and defunding the police... Um... No. No, they don't. It is hard to take their complaints seriously. Well, that's because you're making that part up. But we do take security seriously. No, you don't. So before airing any... Oh, by the way. Uh, okay, so what he's doing right here, just in case you're wondering. Um, he's uh, gaslighting about Democrats and I guess some Republicans. Anybody, anybody who complains that he shouldn't be the only person who gets access to this footage is uh, apparently for open borders. Whatever the fuck that means. Uh, it, like, it's still just a goofy phrase. It's right up there with deep state. Um, but on top of that, watch this. Watch what he says right here. Seriously. But we do take security seriously. So before airing any of this video, we checked first with the Capitol Police. All right. This is to excuse himself from showing anything that would be damaging to Jan Sixers who've already been arrested or Jan Sixers who will. We're happy to say the res he's, he's hiding behind the skirt of the Capitol. Reservations were minor, and for the most part, they were re <laughs> Their reservations were minor. Reasonable. In the end, the only... That's because that wasn't really the concern. Again, gaslighting. This is, Well, it's a diversionary tactic. I wouldn't call this directly gaslighting. Uh, gaslighting. I would say this is the same kind of, look over here, boink, you know, like flashy thing, flashy thing. That's what's going Change on. Change that we made. And, it's, and is he talking... Fuck, man. Are we doing... Is this whole clip like a lead up to the other one we did? It was in blurring the details of a single interior door in the Capitol building. You're unlikely even to notice it when we show you. And we Be, yeah, you mean just like the other doors that you edit to make look like are the are one door when they are multiple doors. We are confident it does not affect our reporting. With that, here <laughs> what reporting? What do you what? Here's the video. It doesn't answer every question from January. 6th. Okay, here's the video. There is 40 seconds left in this clip. Far from it, but it does prove beyond doubt. The Democrats in Congress, assisted by Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney, lied about what happened that day. 
They are liars. That is conclusive. No, it is not. At all. This is ridiculous. You are a silly person. None of that, and none of what we watched in the clip that he played about the fucking QAnon shaman changes shit. And that fact should prevent them from ever being taken seriously again. No, you're, you're a liar and a goofball. And motherfucker, if there's 30 seconds of this video at the end, wait. We're going to get inside with footage that shows you what was actually happening inside the Capitol. The footage does not show an insurrection or a riot in progress. Instead, it shows police escorting protesters to the building. And out other doors. Oh, no, they don't show you that part? They don't show you the part where to keep people from storming in the areas that lead to places where people were sheltering in place and they were still evacuating people, that the cops invited or waved people in to use other doors and said, hey, go up that way, go up that way. The doors are open over there. And these idiots just went right in there and then they wandered through a little hallway and they, oh, there's nothing over here. And then with it, and they found themselves back out on the other fucking lawn. They don't show you the part where they're exiting. That's weird. It's, I'm starting to think he's not even going to show this footage in order, much less in context. Including the now infamous QAnon shaman. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, that was the whole, that was the whole lead up. That was his Christ almighty.